Beta just released Llama 3.3, and here's why you should care. Hi, I'm Harper. I'm an AI educator. I have two degrees from Stanford in computer science and AI, and about 10 years of experience in the field. You can see more in the description below. This model performs as well as the cutting edge models like GPT-40 and Cloud 3.5 Sonnet, but at a really tiny fraction of the cost. GPT-40 and Cloud 3.5 Sonnet cost $10 and $15 per million tokens, respectively, and Llama 3.3 only costs 40 cents. That's crazy. That's 1 25th and 1 37.5th. The amount out. It's also open source, so you can download the model locally on your computer, keep your data safe and secure, and fine tune the model and do it all basically on your own. If you don't know, closed source means the models keep all the details about the model private and they don't share anything because that's their moneymaker. Contributing to open source is often not as lucrative as keeping the model private, which is why most companies like OpenAI and Anthropic decide to keep their models private. But Meta has contributed so much to open source this year and it's really bringing the entire industry forward. It's helping the little guys. It's also relatively lightweight, so it performs as well as Llama 3.1405 billion, which has that many parameters, but it only has 70 billion parameters, which is crazy. And again, it performs as well as those two closed source cutting edge models, 4.0 and Cloud 3.5 Sonnet. But my guess is that those two models have a lot more parameters. But again, we don't know because they're closed source. I'm honestly so impressed with the contributions that Meta has made to open source this year. This is just such a wonderful way to end out the year. So congratulations, Meta and the team, and we'll see you next year.